Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. When the ice breaks and leaves Gasper and Rossi floating alone at sea, they worry that they'll never get home. Let's find out together what happens to them in this book called The Runaway Iceberg. Land ahoy! shouted Rossi, looking out to sea with her telescope. Shall we dive in and explore, Captain? You know I don't like swimming, Gasper said with a sigh. Suddenly, a cracking sound came from below them. Before they had realized what was happening, a chunk of ice had broken off and Gasper and Rossi were floating out to sea on an iceberg. Quick, swim, shouted Rossi. But Gasper was afraid. I can't, he cried, peering into the deep, dark sea below. The iceberg floated out farther and farther until they could no longer see land. What are we going to do? asked Gasper, trembling. How will we ever get back? We're brave explorers, remember? said Rossi, holding Gasper's flippers. We will find a way. Gasper took a deep breath. I guess we could use our flippers to row back, he said. But which way is home? Lift me up, said Rossi. She climbed onto Gasper's head, but she was still not high enough to see land. Try jumping, she suggested, giving him a little nudge with her foot. Gasper jumped. And they both landed on the ice with a thud. Need some help finding your way? asked a snow petrel from above. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. Which way is land? It's this way called the snow petrel, flying high above them. Gasper and Rossi used their flippers to row as hard as they could, but the current kept pushing them the wrong way. Need us to give you a push? asked an arctic silverfish from below. Oh yes, please, called Gasper. The silverfish pushed the iceberg along, until suddenly it became stuck. Oh, we'll never get through here, exclaimed Gasper. Need some help breaking through the ice? asked a blue whale from the deep. Oh, yes, please, called Gasper. With a huge flip of its tail, the whale smashed the ice and cleared the way. Gasper and Rossi bobbed along behind it, glad to finally be on their way back to safety. Land ahoy, squawked the snow petrel. It's all been a great adventure, said Rossi, grinning. We're just like real explorers. The sun shone brightly in the sky as Gasper and Rossi headed for home. Hey, <laughs> stick to your side, Captain, laughed Rossi as Gasper's tail feathers tickled her feet. I'm right on the edge, grumbled Gasper. The two penguins turned to face each other in shock. The iceberg was getting smaller and smaller. It's melting, shrieked Gasper. We need to move faster. The silver fish swam quicker and the blue whale helped to push, but the ice was melting too fast. Oh, we'll have to swim from here, said Rossi. You can do this, Gasper. I know you can. You are the captain after all. The silver fish started to cheer. Gasper, Gasper, Gasper. Soon everyone had joined in and Gasper began to feel braver. Gasper gulped. Then, with one big jump, he splashed into the water. <laughs> he spluttered. It's so chilly. Use your flippers, shouted Rossi as she dived in over Gasper's head. Whee! said Rossi as she headed for home. Gasper flapped his flippers and followed nervously behind. It wasn't long before Rossi and Gasper were back home with their families. You did it, Captain said Rossi, you got us through our most dangerous adventure yet. I guess I did, agreed Gasper, feeling proud, but I couldn't have done it without my trusty first mate. The end. Thanks kids for listening. Bye for now.